There's a lot of attention around AI and algorithms in news media nowadays. Yeah, and research shows that the way the news media covers AI is not particularly controversial. So it's focusing on all the good things AI can do. And if it focuses on the problems it can create, it's in a very sensationalist and sort of dystopian fashion, looking at the doom and gloom, the existential threats. Yeah. And because of that, um, researchers have called for a more expert-informed narrative around these topics. So we thought it would be cool to look at the way scientists are actually writing about, experts are writing about AI in their publications. Yeah. And so we created uh, this map that shows what AI and algorithms are doing in science and technology. You want to tell us how it's made, Mathieu? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We take these papers, there's one million of them, and with an algorithm we extract all the words from them, and when different words are appearing in many different papers, we connect them. So we have a network um, that we annotate. The little dots are the words from the network, and the, the, the little connections you may see here are when they appear together in many papers, and that makes clusters of basically semantic fields or words that come together. So here, for instance, we would have voltage, dc link, rotors, converters, solar energy. So we use those words to look for the papers that contain them, we read them, and we manually create a little summary and a, and a label that we then put on the map. So this would be the renewable energy um, cluster of papers. And we have a lot of those different clusters that are about different things that the algorithms are doing in science. So once we were done uh, manually annotating that map, uh, we created a printable version that you can now download and explore. And uh, what we find uh, on the map is that there's not a lot of sensationalist discourse in science about a AI and algorithms. On the contrary, there are many, many different, very concrete situations where algorithms do work. And overwhelmingly, they solve problems. So very, very rarely do scientists stage AI and algorithms as controversial or as causing problems. Almost exclusively, they are staged as a way to solve problems. And even when we look for issues where we know that AI is a problem, such as, for example, fakes, we see that algorithms were solving problems with fakes before they were causing them. So we have papers uh, showing how to detect fake ceramics, fake tea, fake banknotes, fake fingerprints using algorithms. Um, and uh, even uh, recently using generative AI to produce fakes in an effort to solve uh, cybersecurity threats, for example. Really? So in conclusion, if media coverage was more expert informed, we would have a more detailed view on what AI and algorithms are doing, but this would, would not necessarily be more controversial. And you could argue that scientific literature is not the place where you start a controversy about algorithms, but we still think that it's worth looking at how experts contribute to the issuification of this. Oh, and by the way, if you have a pair of 3D glasses at home, you can put them on, and then you can dive into the map and explore its different layers, and you will separate the initial words, the initial material, from our annotations.